Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to your special edition of WesternPacificWeather.com today. I uh, have 12 whiskey out there, or Finipe, or Ende, depending on your location around the uh, Pacific Ocean here. Uh, it is currently moving west-northwest, uh, right around 5 knots, relatively slow due to a lack of uh, steering flow throughout this area currently. Uh, it's located south of Okinawa, west of uh, Taiwan. Current winds uh, right around 70 up to, uh, gusting up to about 95 knots, but uh, most recent recon reports right around 75 knots. So definitely seeing some increase in strength here and also very evident on the IR picture here you see a lot better uh, outflow out of this system especially into the uh, southern periphery periphery and overall the uh, whole semicircle of this system is definitely uh, gaining an organization over the uh, past six hours so definitely seeing a lot stronger uh, stronger organization and uh, winds out of the system recently uh, it is moving off to the uh, west west northwest uh, very slow at this time though we are uh, lack of a uh, steering flow due to a high pressure located over here over China and another Westpac high located to the east of this system and also we're watching this uh, trough move to off to the uh, northeast here. Now behind this trough we are going to see this high pressure building to over to the uh, the north of this system. So you there in Okinawa, I know you're looking at this system going, oh, what's going on here? Well, it is going to start to make this shift west over the next six hours, so you are going to be spared out of it. But how are you out of the, uh, out of the clear completely? No, and actually we'll just look at the radar really quick here and show that you have some outer rain bands already moved through your area. Here's the uh, 10 key radar showing you there in Okinawa. We're going to loop, loop through this really fast and uh, show you what's going on here. Now, we definitely do have some air, strong thunderstorms move through the area just recently, just north of Kadena there. And these ones right in here are definitely the strongest. Looking at l -Pats, a lot of lightning associated with these. And these are the types of storms you might see some weak tornadoes come out of. Is these outer rain bands that are moving very, very fast, right around 50 knots. So definitely need to watch these things as they come through. Some strong precipitation out of them. They'll run over right over northern Okinawa. Okinawa. So uh, definitely have to watch that and over the next 24 hours you're going to see some more of these bands start to work their ways north and uh, bring some uh, precipitation and some heavy thunderstorms there to the Okinawa area. Are expecting right around a max of about 35 knots. That's a OBS out of Kadena or excuse me a forecast out of Kadena. Current OBS out of Kadena actually right around 15 knots. So not really seeing too strong winds at this time but definitely are seeing a northeasterly wind out of it showing that you are within the uh, semicircle and the circulation of this system. Now, what am I talking about when it comes to this uh, trough moving off to the northeast and that ridge building up north that they're going to steer this thing to the west? This is a streamline analysis provided by Sims here. Now, this is basically indicating that you have this trough just to the east of Honshu here, right in here. And this is going to start moving off to the northeast right now. Now, this uh, ridge right in here, this anticyclonic circulation, this is really what's been stalling the system from moving off to the uh, west over the past 24 to 48 hours. Now, as this trough moves off, this is going to start to move over north of this area right in here over north of uh, 12 whiskey that's going to basically shoot this air this right off to the uh, west over the next 48 hours straight at Taiwan kind of giving you guys a saving grace for Okinawa but Taiwan definitely going to get a lot of precipitation very mountainous in there and we all know from uh, last year some typhoons last year that that can cause some severe flash flooding so anybody in uh, Taipei actually watching this definitely need to take note and take cover from this system now moving on to a uh, multispectral imagery here, uh, several satellites basically just put together. We have the IR here and the VIS right in here. Now VIS is showing a lot of inflow into this system. That's what I like about this. You can see all those low clouds going into the system and a very good circulation around it. Definitely still a lot more outflow and convection to the southern eastern periphery. But as that ridge starts to build into the north, you're going to see even more to the north here. Now what I like out of this imagery is we scroll down here, the microwave imagery definitely, you can actually see the eye in here, which you cannot see due to over cast a uh, cirrus on the IR and visibility here. Now microwave imagery definitely showing a very well defined eye showing the system definitely above typhoon strength so we got a definitely right around 70 to 75 knot system just by looking at this imagery right here you can kind of see that. Uh, right in here is the core winds moving to the south of Okinawa so very far away from you guys but definitely do see some of that convection and some precipitation just to the south of Okinawa here. Now what the uh, island I am looking at very closely here is the one of the most southern Ryuko islands right in here it's called Miyaka. 
uh, I believe that's it. If somebody else uh, wants to help me pronounce that correctly, please let me know because I've been probably pronouncing it wrong. But the uh, southernmost uh, Ryukyu Island right in here, they're definitely going to get hit very strongly with some uh, very strong typhoon force winds uh, as this system approaches out. At, the, at that time, it's expecting to be right around 100 knot winds out of the system, max forecast when it approaches this island right in here. So definitely got to watch this area right in here. Definitely the uh, Japanese locals right in there. Going to be uh, hit very hard from it. And back at the radar one more time. This radar is actually provided by uh, Tenki. You can find it at the uh, Kadena uh, website or on a JMA. They also have a radar down here. And this is that island I'm talking about right here. The uh, Miyake or one of the uh, southern uh, Ryukyu Islands. So uh, definitely anybody gets any reports out of there, please uh, forward on to here. I'll be tracking some uh, observations out of the airfield there and definitely going to see how fast these uh, winds get for that area. But looks like right now this is probably going to be the hardest hit island out of this whole chain. And moving back to the entire Western Pacific sat shot here, uh, we do have 12 whiskey down here, but another one other feature I want to note here, I actually found kind of interesting this morning, was we had a Baraclinic low run over Honshu last night into this morning, and as it ran out over uh, the uh, Kuroshu here, we had a strong uh, cold front basically blow up and then die off by this afternoon, as you can see right in here. Uh, that just shows that uh, warm sea surface temperatures really can affect everything, the diabetics we call it in the meteorological lingo, uh, basically affects everything, not just tropicals down in here, but but this th area right in here is moving into a warmer waters, especially since it's shallower up in here. So definitely going to see that also causing some higher SST. But that is all for uh, today. Uh, thank you for tuning in westernpacificweather.com. Also, you can find me at liveweatherblogs.com as well. But uh, basically, uh, might have another update this evening or tomorrow morning, depending on demand and the, any change in the uh, forecast with this system. So uh, stay safe there in Okinawa and uh, the Ryukyu Islands and Taiwan there. And hopefully have another update soon.